us all stand for a short prayer. Are you ready to pray? Okay, let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, we offer this day all we do, think, and say. Give light to our mind to learn lessons of all kind. Help us to be obedient, truthful, and loving to all. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, children. Okay, you can now take your seats. Is there any absent today from this class? None. Since nobody is absent today, let us give ourselves three claps. One, two, three. Okay, before we continue, let us recall our guidelines when we have our lessons inside the classroom. What is the first rule? Yes, Janelle. Sit properly. What is the second rule? Heidi. Listen to your teacher. And what is the third rule? Cheska. Raise your hand if you want to ask or say something. Do you understand? Very good. Now let us have a short game. I will present some letters and I want you to unscramble them in order to discover the hidden words. All of the hidden words are related to the island of Mindanao. Are you ready? Let's begin. What is the hidden word? It is very good. Sulu. Next. What is the hidden word? It is Tawi Tawi. Next. What is the hidden word? Very good. Basilan. Next. What is the hidden word? Islam. Nice. Last word. What do you think is the hidden word? The hidden word is Kotabato. Very good. Now, our lesson today is something about the culture of Mindanao. I have here an activity sheet. Let's discover if you know something about the music of the island of Mindanao. Read the directions carefully and encircle the letter of the correct answer. Do you understand? Okay, you have five minutes to finish this activity. Is everybody finished? Okay, please pass the papers forward and we will identify the answers to our activity sheets as we go on. Our lesson for today is about the characteristics of South vocal music of the Muslim Filipinos. But before we proceed, let us have a quick review about the music of our Muslim brothers and sisters. Islamic music in general is characterized by delicate patterns of melody and rhythm. To the Muslims, music is a vertical connection to Allah, which is their God. That is why the Quran, their holy book, must be narrated in a singing-like manner. In Islamic music, the vocal aspect must overmaster the instrumental. One of the literary art forms of our Muslim brothers and sisters are their epics. As you can see, epics are long narrative poems telling about heroic deeds of significant characters. In Islamic culture in Mindanao, epics may be narrated in a form of a poem or a song. At present, only three of the 13 Muslim community groups have their epics identified. It includes the Darangen of Maranao. I have here an observation note. Let us listen to some pieces of Muslim music. And after listening to the audio clips, I want you to write your opinions or what you noticed about the music. Do you understand? Now, the Darangen is an epic song about the Maranao people. It is a mixture of both Islamic and non-Islamic way of life and is the cultural foundation of the community. The epic deals not only about relationships and adventures, but also about ancestral political laws, just like kingship 
and succession. Let us listen to an audio clip of the Derangen epic song. Okay, what did you notice in the music piece? Yes, Amber. The singer has a clear voice. Are there other answers? JV? The singer sang for a very long time. What else? Heidi? The singer is like telling a story. Very good. Okay. Now, this epic literally means to narrate in song. That is why the performers of this song should have a creative and imaginative mind. They should also have a good and clear voice. Now, the Taasug people has vocal music as well. It is called the Palangan and can be categorized into narrative and lyrical songs. Narrative songs of the Taosub people includes the Kisa or epic legends that tells a story. Let's listen to an audio clip about it. What did you notice about the music? Yes, JL. Okay, very good. What else? Yes, Natalie. Okay, excellent. Now let's proceed. Lyric songs are subcategorized into two types. This includes the Lugu and the Pagabang types. The Lugu is a religious chant usually done by women. This song is related to Muslim rituals just like weddings, birth, funeral, and the Pagunting, which is the traditional cutting of an infant boy's hair during baptism. Let's listen to an audio clip about it. Okay, what did you notice? Yes, Angelito. The performer's voice has a very high pitch. I noticed that also. What else? Janelle. The tempo of the music is very slow. What else? Yes, Eliza. There are also a lot of sustained notes. Very good. Now let's proceed. Pagabang, on the other hand, are accompanied by bamboo xylophones or violins. It means that these songs are less serious in nature. Pagabang includes the Langan Bata Bata, which is the children's song, and Baat, which is an occupational song. Let's listen to an audio clip about the music of Langan Bata Bata. Okay, what did you notice? Jasper. Very good. What else? Excellent. Let's proceed. Another form of vocal music is the sindil. It is their local version of balagtasan and it includes a man and a woman exchanging ideas for a certain topic. And it is usually done in weddings. Let us listen to an audio clip from the music of Sindil. Okay, what did you notice? Yes, Chinime. Okay, very good. What else? Yes. Excellent. Now, these are some of the vocal music that Mindanao has to offer. But all of these songs regardless of its origin, have common characteristics. The first characteristic is the melismatic style of singing. Melisma means a group of notes sung in one syllable of a text. To understand this further, let us listen to a singer who is called the Queen of Melisma, which is Jojo, and let us compare it to a performer singing the Lugu. Okay, what do you think is the similarity between Jojo's way of singing to a performer singing a lugu? Yes, Natalie. Their voices are waving very fast. Okay, what else? 
Yes, EJ. They sing just like R&B singers, just like Jason D, Daryl Ong, and Kyla. Indeed, they sing many notes for just one syllable. The second characteristic is the use of tremolo. Tremolo is the process of producing shaky sounds of notes. For example, Ibo mang may layang lumipad. As you can see, the ending notes are shaky. Therefore, I use tremolo because the voice is shaky at the end. Do you understand? Okay. The third characteristic is long and slow melodic phrase. Compared to a regular song which has a fixed measure and number of syllables per line or stanza, the Muslim vocal music has an indefinite number of lines. It is because or it is resulting from the singer's improvisation of the musical piece. The fourth characteristic is the strained or throaty voice. Their style of singing features a singer using the speaking voice to execute the song. And the fifth characteristic is the free rhythm. The vocal music of Mindanao has no fixed measure. It results or it is because of the freedom of the singer to improvise the piece. Therefore, the listener cannot predict the length of the song per line. Do you understand? Now let us have a group activity. I will group you into three. This will be group one, that will be group two, and this will be group three. Now I want each group to compare Sulu vocal music from other music samples. Each group will accomplish a table. Put a check mark on the corresponding spaces provided where each musical element practices are observed. Do you understand? Okay, but before you proceed, let us recall our guidelines when we are having group activities inside the classroom. What is the first rule? Yes. Read the directions carefully. What else? Blair May, cooperate with your group mates. And what is the third rule? Angelito, respect your group mates. Now you have five minutes to finish this activity. Is everybody finished? Okay, if you are done, clap five times. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Now let us begin with group one. For group one, they will compare Lugu of the Taosu with Hudhud of the Ipogao. Group 1, please present your table and I want to see what musical element practices are observed in the two songs. Okay, very good. Now let us give group 1 5 claps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Very good, group 1. Next will be group 2. For group 2, they will have to compare Lugu with a Mangyan song from Mindoro. Group 2, please present your work. Okay, very good. Group 2. For group 2, let us give 5 claps as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's proceed with group 3. For group 3, they will compare Lugu to Palawan's Kuli Al Niliga. Group 3, please present your work. Well done, group 3. Let us give 5 claps to group 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Based from this activity, we discovered that there is a lot of musical pieces from the different ethnic groups of the country. Do you think these are important? Yes. Why is it important? Sophia. It is important because these are part of our culture. Very good. Now, these musical pieces, together with the other art forms, celebrate the different ethnic groups of the Philippines. Now, as being the younger generation of our country, what shall we do to preserve all of this? 
Yes, Carlmer. We can promote or share these musical pieces where? In different social media platforms just like Facebook and YouTube. What else? Yes, Lian. Very good. We can create new songs inspired from these art forms. Let us all remember that it is important to identify parts of our culture. We should identify and value these art forms because it makes us who we are as Filipinos. Do you understand? Okay, now let us go back and recall our lesson for today. Give me one musical piece from the vocal music of Mindanao. Yes, Carlmer. Darangen, what else? JV. Lugu, what else? Langan Bata Bata, what else? Yes, Daniel. Very good. Now, can you give me one characteristic of the vocal music of Mindanao? Uh, Jasper. The use of tremolo, what else? Daniel. Melismatic way of singing, are there other answers? Natalie. The use of throaty voice when singing, what else? Cheska. Very good. I have here an activity sheet again. Using what you learned today, read the directions carefully and encircle the letter of the correct answer. Is everybody finished? Okay, exchange papers with your sit mate and let us check your work. Number one, which of the following is not a characteristic of vocal music of Mindanao? What is the letter of the correct answer? It is letter C, fixed rhythm. Number two, in Islamic music, the vocal aspect must overpower the instrumental. What does the given statement mean? It is letter B. Very good. Number three. Why is Mindanao music different from Luzon and Visayas folk songs? The correct answer is letter A. Very good. Number four. Aside from rituals, which of the following is the other purpose of Islamic music? What is the letter of the correct answer? It is letter C. It is for entertainment. Number five. The pagabang are songs accompanied by agabang, agabang, and biula. These songs are also said to be less serious in nature. What Islamic music traditions speak of these practices? What do you think is the letter of the correct answer? It is letter D. Number six. Why is singing important to Islamic music? Letter C. Because it is like talking to Allah, just like what we mentioned earlier. Number seven. Islamic music, Islamic vocal music requires improvisation. How must a singer apply this characteristic when singing their native songs? What do you think is the letter of the correct answer? It is letter C. Number eight. Which of the following characteristics is present in the vocal music of Islamic Mindanao? It is letter A. The use of tremolo in singing. Number nine. What do you mean by tausug? It is letter D, people of the current. And number 10, the music of Mindanao has not changed for a very long time. What, char what character traits does this show? It is letter C, the people of Mindanao value their culture and tradition. Okay, please pass the papers. Count the number of correct items and put the score at the top of the paper and pass it forward. Meanwhile, for your assignment, I want you to make an interpretation using a drawing from this song. It is titled Itajak and made by Maan Chua. 
and I want you to write or put your interpretation in a piece of bond paper and we will present it tomorrow morning. Do you understand? Okay, write these directions in your assignment in your music notebook. Is everybody finished? Okay, let us all stand for our closing prayer. Are you ready to pray? Okay, let us pray in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us for all the things we've done today. Watch us, Lord, in our way and take us home safely. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye, children. Hey, guys, and you just watched another episode from the Shudo Demonstration Teaching Series by Chernil at para sa lesson plan and instructional materials ng video na ito. Ilalagay ko ang lahat ng link dito sa description box. At para sa lahat ng mga videos ko tungkol sa Depard Ranking, lesson na tutorials, and other teacher-related stuff, iiwan ko ang lahat ng link dito sa description box. And once again, this is Chernil. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!